Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah, um, and this is a coloring book review for one of the Dover coloring books titled Indian Life in Pre-Columbian North America Coloring Book, and it is by John Green. Um, I want to kind of throw out there that you can find a lot of coloring books at places you visit, um, zoos, museums, aquariums, things like that, and I, I picked this one up at a museum I was at, an Indian museum I was at, in Arkansas, um, Bentonville, Arkansas. And if you have a chance to go there, I recommend highly that you check out this museum. It's the only Indian museum there, so if you just kind of Google Indian Museum, Bentonville, Arkansas, or Rogers, Arkansas, one of the two, they're right next to each other, um, this uh, museum will pop up and, and you'll be able to see the exhibits that I saw, and it's a fantastic museum. I was blown away. And I'm not really even into Indian stuff that much, so I was really impressed by this museum. Definitely worth seeing at least once. So this is the coloring book. This is Blue Bound Book. Here is the spine in the back. And I really like the Dover coloring books because it gives you somewhat of a background of what the um, subject is in the book kind of gives a little information about it and that's that's always nice to get a bit more information about what you're coloring. As with all Dover coloring books, inside the front flap and the back flap you will see there are examples of how you can color. You don't have to, but how you can color a couple of the pictures in the book. Paper quality in this book is um, regular printer paper. It is not the cheap printer paper that you will find in Create Space or Amazon coloring books. This is a higher quality and is, is much better than, than those. Not a whole lot better, but it's, it's definitely better. Get my camera to focus here. There we go. So you'll have an introduction over here, and you'll have the map. About where they're talking about and under each page you will have a little paragraph that will tell a bit more about the pictures and what's going on in the pictures about the year and things like that dimensions of the book are eight and a half by eleven inches I love these coloring books because they are cheap enough that if you mess up, it's not a huge deal, but they are done in such a way and have a lot of good examples of things that you can practice on. For example, skin color, skin tones, hair, things like that. Um, these coloring books are great for that. So if you're ever at a museum or a zoo or something, just be sure you kind of check out the gift shops if they've got coloring books. Sometimes you can find things there that you can't find anywhere else, and it's definitely worth your time if you're interested in the coloring books to kind of check that out. not going to turn all of them sideways um, just because I'm about out of time on my camera. I will do some of them. Please don't forget to subscribe down below and leave a comment about what you think of the pictures in the book or a coloring book that maybe you have found in a museum or a zoo that you know you just can't get anywhere else. Another example of one of those books is I found a um, St. Louis Zoo coloring book. You can't buy it online, 
you can't buy it anywhere else except for the gift shop that, that I found it at, at the St. Louis Zoo. Um, just another example of things you can find that you can't find anywhere else. And that is the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you.